Hey, good morning, Mark. Well, right around 50,000 people come to U of A home football games, 25,000 to 30,000 actually go to those home basketball games. So you can only imagine the amount of bags, backpacks and packages that get randomly forgotten or left behind. Every single one of those, though, actually needs to be checked by law enforcement officials, even if they don't have anything to worry about inside. So really, it's during those suspicious package callouts that this brand new piece of equipment comes into play. The video you're actually seeing on your screen right now, it's a demonstration of how that new x-ray system works. The new x-ray system, they kind of described it to us like a dentist's x-ray, giving officers a real clear look into what's inside of the bag or the backpack or even the package that was left behind or forgotten. It gives our officers the intelligence they need prior to going inside the package with their hands. They get to see what's inside there first prior to unzipping the package or opening the box itself. So it keeps our officers safe. Sergeant Salisbury said the new system is so, so much beneficial than the old system. He compared the old system to a 35 millimeter film camera and the new system to a smartphone. So you can just think about the differences between those two. The old system required going back to a TPD vehicle and then developing the images, whereas the new system, it actually gives officers a look at what's inside in just a few minutes on a sort of iPad or tablet style screen. Now, the equipment is very, very expensive. If TPD actually had to apply for a grant through the Department of Homeland Security, even with that grant, once they got that money, they still had some leftover money to put up. And that's where the Southern Arizona Law Enforcement Foundation came in. They put up the rest of it. And now TPD has that x-ray system that they are using during U of A home football games. Again, and U of A home basketball games. They actually used it this past weekend. And that's when we got that demonstration. We do have more information on this new system on our website. That's at Kega9.com. For now, we're live at the U of A. Veronica Acosta, Kega 9, on your side. All right, Veronica, thank you. Appreciate it. You know, there's been a push to get more Tucson students in the class.